Today's topic is for anyone who consumes caffeine on a regular basis, on a daily basis, whether it's coffee or tea or energy drinks, soda, or anything similar with caffeine. And it's especially important if you're concerned about your heart, your brain health, and having youthful skin and hair. By the way, this is vital if you want to improve your sexual performance in the bedroom, especially for us guys. And today's topic stems from a viewer question, and it reads, Hey, Dr. Sam, is caffeine good or bad for blood flow circulation? I searched online and I've seen contradictory statements. This is a great question because caffeine is probably the most used or even abused drug in the world. Yes, it's a drug. It's so powerful that Coca-Cola's original formula contained cocaine, hence the coca and Coca-Cola. When cocaine became illegal, they needed to find a legal alternative and they used caffeine and has been using it since. Now, what's crazy is about 90% of Americans consume caffeine on a daily basis. And coffee consumption is about 40% of the world's population and much higher in the U.S. at 70%. And tea consumption is higher at 55% worldwide, but lower in the U.S. at 42%. Now, the point is that most of us have a bunch of caffeine running through our veins. And speaking of veins, how does caffeine affect your blood flow? Is it good? Is it bad? Well, the answer is yes. Caffeine and caffeine products can negatively affect your circulation. Caffeine acts as basically a vasoconstrictor and constricts blood vessels and thus can decrease blood flow. Caffeine has been shown to make arteries stiff, which contributes to coronary artery disease or the hardening of the arteries as we age. Caffeine also increases blood pressure levels because it blocks hormones that your body produces to keep your arteries wide open. Also, caffeine is a stimulant. Because of this, it increases adrenaline as well as stress hormones such as cortisol. So this fight or flight mechanism further restricts blood flow. Caffeine also causes anxiety, which again indirectly decreases blood flow due to negative changes in neurotransmitters. Most people don't realize that caffeine also has a very long half-life and it negatively affects sleep. Now, poor sleep quality and quantity further increase stress hormones as well as blood pressure and blood sugar levels. And yes, all of these further decrease circulation. Sadly, the older we get, the worse the side effects of caffeine and hence less blood flow as we've gotten older. Of course, I'm not here to tell you to stop drinking your coffee or tea. You know, I know most people enjoy it and they love it and they can't start the day without it. And for many people, they just enjoy the whole concept and tradition. However, if you want to increase your blood flow for improved heart and brain health, for more youthful skin and hair, and of course, better sexual performance and erections for the men, then you have two options. If you're not going to stop consuming caffeine, at the very least, try to lower the caffeine intake by maybe 50%, like a half, or just take specific vitamins, minerals, and herbs that will dramatically increase your blood flow and circulation. So this way you can still enjoy your caffeine and caffeine brev beverages. Now I've listed below some of the best ingredients and best ways for improving your circulation naturally. So scroll down underneath the video in the description area, take a look.